Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to quickly show you how to uh, take this data that we talked about today in class and graph it. Um, we kind of ran out of time in class today. So um, here's what we're going to do. We, I've gone ahead and filled out this data table here. And so um, right here that I've highlighted, I've taken the natural log of the concentration. So if I take this 0.1 and I take the natural log of it, I get negative 0.23. If I, if I take this 0 0.0707, I get negative 265. So um, that is... Uh, what we need to do first is fill out this table. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go over to my my um, Google Sheets and I've plugged in time in my A column and the natural log of N205 in my B column and what I'm going to do is go ahead and highlight just the numbers, just the numbers. I'm going to click on insert a chart okay and I get this window here. Um, right here in the middle I'm going to click on charts I'm going to click on scatter. I'm going to choose my scatter chart just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and hit insert. So there it gives me my chart. Right up here in the corner, I'm going to click advanced edit. And now I'm going to title this chart. So um, we're going to call this chart um, natural log of the concentration of N205 versus time. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down a little bit. And I want to, I want to name my horizontal and my vertical axis. So my horizontal axis is this axis here, which is going to be time in seconds. And then on, on my drop down menu, I can choose my vertical axis, which was the natural log of N205. And I'm going to go ahead and make my O, capital O. I'm not going to worry about making these subscripts. I'm not even sure if it'll let me. Nope, it won't. Okay, and then I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom here, and I've got my trend line, and I'm going to choose a linear trend line here, and we do have a straight line. Okay, so there's my graph, and so what I'm going to take this, I'm going to do is I'm going to take this graph, and I'm going to drop it. I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to drop it into my worksheet right here. And there we go, just like that. Now, that tells me right off the bat this is a first order reaction, but just for practice, I want to go ahead and I'm going to graph the one over the concentration versus time. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to drop it. Let's go ahead and delete this, this chart off. And I'm going to drop these values right in here. And it looks like it didn't drop them in how I wanted to, so I'm going to cut it out and paste it where I want it. And this is going to be one over the concentration. And so we're going to do the um, same thing here. We're going to highlight just our numbers. We're going to go view, in, or insert a chart, go to charts, go to scatter, and we can see um, it does not look like a linear line. And we'll go to advanced edit title, one over the concentration of N205, go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and fill in my, my horizontal which is again time in seconds, my vertical, one over the concentration of N205, and I'm going to go down here and on my trend line, I'm going to choose the linear line again because I want to make sure that this is not a linear line. And it's definitely not a linear line. The linear, the line doesn't, it, what it gave us is a best fit line, but it's not, it's not um, linear, obviously. So hit update. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to go and paste it back over here into my worksheet. Okay, so there's my two lines. So now I know this is a first order reaction because I have a linear line in the natural log versus time where I do not have a linear line on one over the concentration. So um, I can write my rate law and I can use the slope to calculate the rate constant. We're going to use the slope off of this line and um, I choose the outlying values like I'll, I'll choose um, negative 5.08 and negative 2.3 versus 400 minus 0 for my slope, or you could just solve 
the equation, the f integrated rate law first order for k, they both give you the same answer if you punch it in your calculator correctly. And then I'm going to scroll down here, and I'm going to I'm going to do um, once again using that um, integrated rate law for first order reaction. I'm going to go ahead and calculate number four. Now on question number five down here, again they're going to give me another set of data, and you're going to go through and fill in this data. So you're going to you're going to first off um, take the natural log of C um, C4H6, and then you're going to do one over the concentration of C4H6. You got to fill that out, and then you need to put both of your graphs in this here, and then there's some questions for you to to answer. So that's tonight's homework. Have a fantastic evening.